Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to manage multiple Ledger devices using Ledger Live. You may have more than one, or you may have uh, some family members in the household that have their own device, and you want to be able to manage these ledgers separately. Um, so that each person can see their balance. It's a little bit tricky, but it's not too difficult. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So let's jump in. So I get a lot of people that ask me this question about Ledger Live. They say, can I manage more than one device using Ledger Live, and you can. You can manage multiple devices within Ledger Live uh, without having to do this little trick that I do. And I have a video on how to do that. I'll put a link to that up in the description. You basically just create uh, multiple accounts and then you name them correctly. The trick here is that when you add a new account, then it just depends on which device is, is attached at the time you create the account. So if you have one ledger and you have it connected when you create an account, that account will be based on this ledger. And if you do the add account and you have a different device connected, then that account will be associated with that device. The only problem with this little scheme is that if you don't name the accounts accordingly, you could get the devices and the accounts mixed up. You go to access some of your crypto and you have the wrong device attached. You're going to get a lot of weird error messages. And even if you do it properly and you keep everything straight and have the accounts named accordingly, you can't really look at the balance portfolio of each device separately. If you go up here to portfolio, it's just going to give you the total amount for all of the accounts. It doesn't matter uh, which accounts and which devices are involved, right? It's always going to give you like this uh, total amount on the portfolio. Even if you have two devices, you might want to see their uh, total portfolio separately, or you might have family members and each person in the household has their own device and you would like to keep kind of a separate account for each person's device. Uh, very similar to maybe your Netflix profile or your Hulu profile, where each member of the family has their own section with their own stuff, right? Now, I am gonna mention that this is a little bit hacky because Ledger Live does not have profiles like Netflix or Hulu. Right, So it's going to rely on manipulating our folders on the computer. So uh, it's not really something that each family member can do uh, unless you don't care if the family members are poking around in the file system of your computer. Uh, I prefer to manage my own computer. So, uh, you know, a word of caution, if you are going to do this for several members of your household, you're going to have to kind of be the one to manage it for them, right? So uh, the interesting thing about Ledger Live is that everything that you see in Ledger Live is basically the public information of your device. When you connect your device and set up accounts, all of that public information gets put into Ledger Live. The private key stays on the device. So it's really not going to destroy or uh, put the crypto at risk by playing around with the Ledger Live preferences. You can always get them back, and I'll show you how to do that. So uh, in our folder section in Windows, we're gonna need to go into our C drive. Inside C drive, there's another folder called users. Now you should see uh, a folder that uh, reflects your user account. So dive into that. And then the next folder we wanna get into is the app data folder. Now notice that it's sort of dim. This means that it is a uh, hidden folder by default. If you don't see it, you'll need to go to your view settings and just go down here to show and make sure that hidden items is 
checked off. If you're running, running Windows 10, it's slightly different, but it's pretty much uh, in the same area. You go into the view and then there'll be a tick for show hidden files and folders. So you'll need to do that. All right, and once you've got the hidden files and, and folders uh, enabled, you can dive into your app data folder, and this is where uh, we can manage our Ledger Live profiles. So inside roaming is where Ledger Live stores its default uh, preferences folder. So notice here that I have a folder called Ledger Live. Now that folder is managing this profile. Ledger Live always looks for a Ledger Live folder, but we can kind of play around with that. If I close out Ledger Live and then I go here and just rename this folder, I can just click it and click outside and into the edit field. I'll just uh, change this uh, to a name, right? And in this case, I was looking at Alex's portfolio that's based on Alex's devices. Now, you'll notice that I have several down here. Some of them are tests and some of them are other family members. I'll go to my portfolio, which is here, and I'll do the same thing. I'll just click in and click out so that it's editable, or you can just right click and you might need to go to more options and go down to rename. It does the same thing, just makes the field editable. And I'll just erase my name and now that folder is Ledger Live. That's the folder that Ledger Live is going to use for its preferences. So I'll go ahead and open Ledger Live again. And now you'll notice it's a different portfolio, a different set of accounts. I'll go, I'll quit Ledger Live again. You do need to quit Ledger Live when you go in here and play around with these folders. If you try to rename the Ledger Live folder while Ledger Live is running, of course, it's going to throw you an error message. So uh, I'll click this and click out of it to make it editable, and I'll change it back. Uh, I'll put my name on there so I remember that's my folder. And then uh, we can go over here. We'll click in and out and uh, we'll rename this folder back to Ledger Live and then I can launch Ledger Live again. All right. And there's uh, a different portfolio of a different family member and it's got the total of all of the holdings of this particular wallet. Now you might be wondering, well, how do you set all this up in the first place? Uh, how do you uh, get these done? I have a lot of uh, videos on how to set up uh, a Ledger device in Ledger Live and uh, you'll always end up with a Ledger Live folder. So all you need to do is go into your Ledger Live folder, rename it, and then the next time you launch Ledger Live, it'll be blank and you can set up someone else's device. So in this case, uh, we'll just go ahead and launch Ledger Live and let's say you've bought a brand new device for a new family member and uh, you'll just go through the get started, choose the device and just say uh, this one is already set up. I've already set up the seed phrase. It's just ready to go, right? I'll just say connect my ledger. We'll uh, go through the genuine check. Uh, you will need to unlock your device here. You'll need to allow access. And I've got a brand new device here. So let's just assume that you've uh, given a member of your family a new device and you're going to gift them some crypto or allow them to buy some crypto or help them buy some crypto, whatever the case may be. Uh, we'll hit continue here. It's going to run the genuine check. All right. And it will just take us straight to the My Ledger section. Uh, we can just go straight over to portfolio and start adding accounts. So let's say uh, this family member might want some Bitcoin. We'll go ahead and add a Bitcoin account. It's going to see if there's a Bitcoin app on the device. If there isn't, it'll go ahead and add it. You'll see it going. Uh, you'll see some progress on the device itself. 
will open the Bitcoin app. Since this is a brand new device, it's just going to uh, create an empty Bitcoin account for us. All right, you can rename this if you want to. We'll just hit add account. Now we have an empty Bitcoin account. And then we can do uh, the same thing for any other crypto that they might want to manage. Let's just add Bitcoin and Ethereum. It'll check to see if I have the Ethereum app on there. If not, it'll go ahead and install it for me. All right, I'll open the Ethereum app. All right, it's going to allow me to create an empty Ethereum account. And now you can see I've got two different accounts set up on this new device and so on and so forth. Just go ahead and add whatever accounts you want to manage. And then, of course, you'll want to fund these accounts. You could transfer crypto into these accounts from your wallet or uh, you could go over to Coinbase and uh, buy some crypto and transfer it into the wallets. Uh, I got plenty of videos on how you do all that. I'm just dealing with the uh, profiles right now. So now we have uh, a portfolio or a profile set up. Now, if we close Ledger Live, go back into that folder section, you can see that uh, if we might need to come out and back in, Ledger Live has now created a new Ledger Live folder. Well, I can uh, just archive this by editing the folder name, and we'll just call this um, Bobby, or we'll just call this one new, right, for whoever it's for. And then uh, once that's done, we can uh, re-enable any of these other folders by just going in here and editing the name of the folder back to Ledger Live. Make sure you keep it the way it's supposed to be formatted, the way Ledger Live creates it, which is two words. All right, and then once we've done that, we can go back, launch Ledger Live again, and it will use whatever uh, profile or preferences folder is active at the moment. Right? We can uh, do anything we want by just renaming the folders. All right, we can go back to that original. Whoops. Um, it's not going to and remember, it won't let us do this if Ledger Live is running. So we're going to need to quit Ledger Live before we do that. And we can go back up here and change this one back. Rename this one to Ledger Live again. Relaunch Ledger Live. All right. And we're back to that alternate portfolio. So uh, we can easily toggle back and forth between the different profiles that we've created by renaming these folders. And uh, when you archive them, you should put something on there that lets you know uh, whose portfolio it is or which device it is. So you might even name these by device and then uh, maybe put labels on your devices or just something that indicates to you. Like I could call this one uh, black on black because it's the black one. And I can call this one just Ledger X. However you want to name your folders when you archive them is entirely up to you. All right, we can just go back here. I'll change this one back so that it is Ledger Live. And then uh, I'm back to my portfolio. So a little, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, a little bit tedious, but it will allow you to manage either multiple devices or multiple people with their own devices in your own household. Uh, keep in mind that only the person that possesses the device and knows the PIN will be able to uh, access any of these crypto. So if you live in a household where people don't trust each other, uh, not to worry. Each person has their device in their possession and they have their own PIN. So they'll just have to come and tell you, hey, dad, I want to look at my portfolio and you'll just manipulate the folders and then they'll be able to do whatever they need. Of course, ideally, you probably want each person in the family to have their own computer for managing their own copy of Ledger Live. But I've had this question uh, posed to me many times. Not every household uh, with five people has five computers. So this is an easy way to manage Ledger Life portfolios on a Windows machine um, if you need to. 
and it keeps everybody's profiles separate so that their balances can be seen separately. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.